Guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're back. It's Plymouth Argyle versus Birmingham City. The return fixture from the fixture earlier on in the season on the 26th of August where Argyle encountered a 2-1 defeat late on. Before that, last time we played them in the league was the 13th of April 2009. Previous to that, we played them in the FA Cup and uh, the League Cup, I believe, and, and a couple friendlies. But in the league specifically, Argyle and Birmingham encountered a 1-1 draw eight at St Andrews. And before that, again, at Home Park on the 9th of December 2008, Birmingham took the points in a 1-0 win. Now, as the league currently stands, it's a narrow one between the two sides. Argyle currently stands 17th with 26 points and Birmingham stand 18th with 26 points. So it's a bit of a six-pointer between the two sides, really. Wayne Rooney's been struggling since being appointed Birmingham manager, but Argyle comes to this game after a 3-2 late win against Rotherham at home. Before that, a goalless 0-0 draw away to QPR. And before that, a 4-0 away thrash into league leaders Leicester. Now, Birmingham, they come to this game after a narrow 3-2 home defeat to league leaders Leicester. Before that, a 1-0 away win to Cardiff. And before that, a 2-0 away loss to Coventry. Now, as Argyle fans will know, we've had some devastating news over the past week at the club with Shuey departing to Stoke. Uh, and Coop's being ruled out for 10 weeks with an MCL, I'm pretty sure it's on his left knee, it's on the opposite knee to he had his of an injury last season. Today is massive, Kevin Nansfield Kevin is going to take the boys, it's a big game, there's no small games in this league, we haven't had a break, the Shuey leaving couldn't come at a worse time. If you do want to hear my thoughts on it, let me know, I may make a little podcast with a couple others after the Christmas break, um, but yeah. It's 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 gutting. Uh, I've been I can't I can't I can't describe how I've been how I've been feeling about it. Mixed emotions, but we're here for the Argyle today. Massive game. Fans are going to be up for it. Kevin Nansfield's team's got to be up for it. I'll see you at home park. Can you greet? So we're in the stadium now. About half hour to kick off. Lineup so it's Hazard and goal. Back four consisting of Edwards, Pegasulo, Gibson, Galloway. Usual suspects. A midfield three of Condal, Who and Azaz. And a front three of Whitaker, Wayne, and Mumba. It's a strong lineup. Um, we'd like to see Freddie Azaka coming on at some point today. He's on the bench. You can feel the atmosphere. You can feel it. Three blocks allocated to Birmingham. Wayne Rooney's side. Stansfield starts. I'm not confident. I'm not confident. Obviously, these gave Leicester a good game last time out. I'm going to go over 1 1. I think the point will be positive going into two tough uh, away games over the Christmas period. Dad, score prediction. 2-1 or a goal. 2-1. Got hope for some air, a point at least. Come on, you good.
So it's half time, it's currently 2-1 Birmingham, um, poor half, poor half, obviously we had that dilemma, Stamo scoring, I'm pretty sure on this top it said once he ran, always around something along them lines, something that he knew what he was doing, he was he's trying to cause aggravation and it has done, it caused, it's caused a to toxic feel to this game uh, ever since, it's like a dog fight really, uh, but we were slow, obviously we haven't really got any chances before we got our goal. It's virtually came out of nothing anyways. But it's a big second half. If we can try to scrape another goal, get a point, I feel like it's a positive result. But yeah, it's sort of been ruined that, that first goal Stano scored. But you know, going in front of the Denport and trying to trying to get a hold of the fans, trying to get in their heads. It's it's caused it's caused a, a nasty smell to the game. But let's get to the second half. Yes, sir. 
That's full time, it's 3 3. I said I'd take a point. Obviously, my score prediction was 1 1. But wow, that was close. Freddy Azaka, wow. If he scored that, unbelievable. But it's come down, come back from 3 1 down to, to get the draw. It's incredible spirit. We've still got life in us. Two massively hard games. Cardiff and Southampton both away. Both teams that we've seen, we've seen them turnover teams. We've got to be up for it. Boxing Day in the 29th. Me and the dad will be there for both. It's two big ones, and I'll see you then. One, two.